LED bulbs. They're coming to your home, but which ones are good and which ones are going to leave your living room looking like a cave? We're going to test out two LED bulbs that are already on the market. One from Lemnus Lighting and one from Lighting Sciences. Now this is the Ferox 300 bulb from Lemnus Lighting. Lemnus came out with this last year and it was one of the first bulbs that you could screw into a regular light socket and that functioned like a regular bulb. It does what they say is the equivalent of a 60 watt bulb in a downward facing light fixture, i.e. something you screw in the ceiling, and it acts more like a 40 watt bulb when it's stuck into a lamp. It's got a color temperature, which is the color tone, of 2900 Kelvin, which is kind of a warm light to a white light. It looked more like an incandescent bulb. And you can also see LED bulbs don't look like regular bulbs. It's got these you know, holes in the side here, it's got this metallic thing. It's actually a little heavier too. Now the bulb only puts out 360 lumens. An ordinary light bulb will put out 800 lumens, but LED bulbs are very directional. The light shoots straight out or it can be angled with optics inside of the bulb. A regular light bulb shoots light in every direction. So even though there's a big difference between those two numbers, 360 isn't as bad as you might think. Now this is the new Kahuna on the block. It's from Lighting Sciences, but it's being sold under the EcoSmart brand at Home Depot. It's a 40 watt equivalent bulb, which means it actually only uses nine watts, three watts more than the Lemnus bulb, but it gives off the equivalent of light of a 40 watt bulb. It has 429 lumens. The color temperature, according to the packaging to both these bulbs is the same, but when you see them in the socket, you'll notice this one's a little more bright white. The other one has more of a yellowish tint, more familiar. This is more white clinical sort of classic LED light color. You can also see a few other things. One, the heat sink on it is slightly different. The light from LED bulbs is not hot, but because they're chips, they give off heat off the back end. So you have to have ridges and things like that, pieces of aluminum, they'll draw that heat away and won't affect your lamp. Now this bulb just came out a few weeks ago and the big news is it only costs $20. People thought we wouldn't see a $20 LED bulb that can be functional in a household for quite a while. So when this price came out, it was a big deal. Now it's time for the test. Okay, here we have the ceiling test, two lights. Both alike. On the far end here, we have the Lemnus bulb. And over to the near corner here, we have the one from Lighting Sciences. Now one thing you may notice, this is on full blast. It's the same dimmer, it's on the same switch. The Lemnus one, in my view, has a slightly more appealing color. It's kind of a rich yellow, and there's that kind of clinical white to that light Lighting Sciences bulb. And they're both about the same brightness. But watch what happens when we put on half dimming, you know, like this. Turn it down, same dimmer knob, they're going down at the same time. But note this now, the Lemnus bulb is definitely distinctly dimmer. Here's one more thing I want you to notice. Watch we turn it out. The lighting science bulb goes off slower. And then when it goes back on, we'll check this out. Watch what happens with the Lemnus bulb, or if you can see that here. It takes longer to come on. Here's something I noticed when you turn them down. The lighting science bulb makes a slight buzzing noise. So which bulb do you choose? Well, most of our tests, the lighting science bulb did better. In fact, the rest of my family members picked this one in every single test. I picked the two, except for the test when the dimmer switch was full on. Then I liked the lemnus. The amount of light coming out was about the same, but that yellowish tone was a little more pleasing. Now, should you buy now? My main suggestion would be to wait. Philips is coming out with screw-in bulbs like this, so is Osram, so is GE. They're all gonna be slightly different. They're all not gonna be the same. Therefore, maybe buy one from one brand, one from another, test them out, and when you see one you like, start standardizing on that one. You don't have to hurry, prices will come down. They're all gonna come out in the, the 40 to $60 range, but as we've seen with Lighting Sciences, those prices are gonna come down quick. I'm Michael Canellis for Green Tech Media.